Hello everyone. So let me just tell you the story of how I got this. Let's get in the story. So the story is, I first started with looking on where I found it. So I was just doing the usual scrolling and then I was like, huh, a dude is selling PlayStation 2 for $40 with some games. So like usual, like many, like what I've learned from many others is that well, the guy thinks it's 40, but chances are he's not really looking into it. So since he's not really looking into the games and how much they are costing individually, I decided to actually say, hmm. So when it comes to my individuality, I see Splinter Cell. And since I saw Splinter Cell, I was like, hmm, might as well get it for PlayStation 2 and then maybe try to trade it for the GameCube version or something. For right now, at least I'll have it. So along with that, I decided to get the PlayStation 2 memory card because he has two. So I wanted to get that. And I decided to get one more thing. One more thing that would most likely help me get more money. And I saw Silent Hill 2. And I remember Silent Hill 2 or Silent Hill series is decent value. So looked it up. Found out it was $20. Ooh. So what I did is took those items, went to him and said, oh yeah, of course I priced everything else. All the rest of them were not really that valuable to get. So I went to him saying, hey, will you do these two games and a memory card for $5? At first he said, okay. But of course another and his wife, yeah. <laughs> so later on it was yes and then they decided to bump up the price and say $10. So when they did that, I was like, okay, throw in Mafia. And Mafia was the second one that was decent enough that I could kind of get even more money from. So with that said, days gone by. Finally, there was one day where I'm like, very close by. I made sure I was there. That was the same time I actually did the shipping for the GameCube. I mean, the Game Shark. So, tried to do it. The guy wanted me to text him. I'm like, oh my gosh, come on, dude. So, I did it, and he's like, oh, can you come over here? Which wasn't really where he said it was. Apparently, it was five out five minutes away, or 50 minutes I was walking. And it's a trailer park, folks. It was a trailer park. And I'm like, no way. I'm like, why can't you come to the place where you marked? And he's like, well, my vehicle was kind of bent out of shape and crap. So it didn't go down that day. But luckily for me, even though last night he actually texted me and said, hey, will you do it tonight? And of course, I basically pretended like I didn't see it. So on this afternoon i was like okay text the guy see if we can do it for three to five o'clock and well we'll meet up where i volunteer so i brought my bag with me half ten dollars and it went out without a hitch got the games and everything so let me just show you those and i'll close out that time it's going down
So anyways, unexpected to me, I actually get to go to the local pawn shop that is near the grocery store. Funny that I kind of a little bit got my hand caught in the cookie jar, but there was really no comment. So we're good. <laughs> anyways, I was able to actually get even better footage. And of course, some things changed. Sadly, they're not the ones who are like, OK, we're going to put games so everyone can see what the games we have. Instead, they want me to open it so I can check for myself because I'm not as actually affiliated with PlayStation 3. I didn't look into those, didn't look into PlayStation 4 or anything like that. So, yeah, um, as for the Nintendo games, they know they know what they have. Holy frick, they know what they have. They do have a Super Nintendo game, which is crazy. And it's Roadrunner Extreme something something. And it's worth nine, I mean, six dollars loose. Didn't ask about that one. I didn't ask about it because I don't know. Who knows? They might actually just give me a quarter for it. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe if it's still there when I return, I might actually get something. So as you can see, they just have some things. There was like some DS games. It's not really worth looking at. They do have the GameCube game of the football one that I already have. Crap. I Yeah. So that means I could have. Oh, dang. I could have actually have bought it and switched the crap out and then sell it piece by piece. Frick. I forgot. Frick. <laughs> well, anyways. Yeah, we had that. I was kind of a little bit on the fence of buying a game for one dollar so i can have the wii case but eventually i'll be able to actually get more wii cases because of you know what so that's all they had i looked everywhere they still had the twilight princess copy i found before i saw i'm shocked at the stupid guy who got two wii games i think he might have got wii sports or might even be mario kart i'm not sure so, yeah, the guy didn't even ask about Twilight Princess. He just got those two games and that's it. So I scooped that one up and I was looking through and they had James Bond Nightfire for Xbox, I mean, for PlayStation 2. So I scooped that one up, too. So here is what happened with that. All right. So as you can see, the deal went down. So here are the ones that I got. First things first is Silent Hill 2. Might have to get the stickers off. So as you can see on this thing, it says that he actually got it for the same price I'm gonna actually sell it for, $19.99. So opening it up, there is the manual. Let me just, there to go. As you can see, it's immaculate condition. I think I don't even have to play it. Sadly, it is player's choice, but I think it doesn't matter at this point. So that's good. That's $20. Next is the one I had to buy because instead of $5, it was now $10. So this might actually help me get my $10 back. He got it for $5. I'm going to sell it for $10. The messed up part is no. So apparently, Games Galore is good. And as you can see, yeah. When did he get it? Oh wow, look at that two. Oh, one year ago on my auntie's birthday. Holy freak. So yeah, this was actually from Blockbuster. And as you can see, it is quite a little bit. Yeah, it's quite a little bit using idea. And there's the memory card I wanted. I'm gonna check later to see what it has. Looks like we will have a video on that. Last but not least is what I came for. Splinter Cell. I think this is the first one. So there we go. Of course, it's great. It's sadly more stickers I have to deal with, as you can see. So open it up. No manual. This is just one that I'm keeping as a placeholder holder until I can actually get the GameCube. And this is the one that's pretty wrecked. So for right now, this will take its place until I get the GameCube version. So, for just ten dollars, folks, ten dollars. This was the original deal, five dollars, but ten dollars, including memory card. So yes, and now here's the bonus. Then at the pawn shop, I was able to get to. Uh, thank you for my smart thinking and rationalizing it. 
here's what I got. And this was hidden in the back. It don't like Zelda. Well, even though I don't like Zelda, it's going to freaking be sold very, very easily. So let's look at the pricing. Yeah, she was like, hey, check it out before you get it, because if you get it, you're not going to be able to return it. Looks like I just got to clean it. So this is worth ten dollars, maybe even fifteen dollars, twelve dollars. I'll figure it out. And this one I bought because I need to check out this guy right here. So yeah, James Bond Nightfire. I already have it for the GameCube. Might actually be sold with the multi tap. But for right now, we're gonna check it on the multi tap. I think I'm gonna should keep this one because I need a game to check the multi tap. So. These are the finds, and how much did I pay for them? Two dollars and fourteen cents. That's right. This guy I caught him slipping. He was buried in the back, didn't have any tag on him, so I caught him slipping. Yes, awesome. So that is basically all that I got. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and please you know the usual drill: comment, like, and subscribe. And sooner or later, I'll have another video like this. Anyways, talk to you guys soon.